General Electric is buying most of the French electrical equipment developer Convert Team for more than $3 billion. Now, GE says it will use the company's expertise to serve regions like the Middle East and Brazil. GE's energy revenues in Latin America last year came in at $2.8 billion. And the man who heads up the unit is Rafael Santana. He joins us live from the Bloomberg Link event in Sao Paulo. Uh, welcome to the show. Uh, can you explain to me just what this acquisition today, what this deal means for operations in Latin America? Hey, we're very excited with this. Uh, today we announced the plans uh, to acquire Convert Team. Uh, again, uh, some uh, uh, approvals that need to take place. We expect those to happen in the third, third quarter of this year. But it's very exciting. It brings us uh, technology to play really big in uh, electrification and uh, in automation. Uh, it brings a, a portfolio uh, of products that will allow GE uh, to play in oil and gas, in marine application, and uh, uh, also in applications uh, in mining and metals. Uh, this acquisition comes, comes uh, with over uh, 5,000 employees, over 1,600 engineers, and uh, they're a global player. Uh, they are present in Brazil, so uh, this really built some um, uh, more and more muscle for us to be even stronger, stronger in markets uh, uh, like Brazil. So it's uh, very exciting for us to be uh, in Brazil right now. So you'll be adding to your headcount, not, not reducing it there in Latin America. Um, it, what do you really gain with this? Is it the assets or is it the expertise? Hey, uh, we get uh, the expertise, of course. It will allow us to, again, play in terms of applications uh, for uh, the marine space. A lot of investment taking place in Brazil right now on the offshore. So a lot of the offshore uh, vessels uh, uh, and, of course, uh, uh, a lot of the investment with Petrobras, with drill ships. Uh, this just brings a unique portfolio in terms of electrification and uh, automation again. And uh, we'll be able to play uh, uh, in segments we were not playing before. Uh, now, I know at the summit, you're speaking to us from uh, in Sao Paulo. You said earlier today that GE is going to invest about $500 million over the next three years in Brazil. What does that money go towards? Hey, uh, we're investing uh, in different areas. Uh, as was announced earlier this year, we're bringing a global research center uh, to Brazil. With that, it's coming a learning center as well that's going to be based in Rio. Uh, we're also investing in our uh, manufacturing facilities here, uh, bringing a lot of products uh, to be localized to support some of uh, uh, the mandates of uh, some of our customers, uh, allowing us to play big in a lot of the infrastructure uh, uh, projects.